Right, I know, I know, welcome back, I know, it's Saturday. Why is he doing a video on a Saturday, apart from my massive Indian makeaways, Indian Saturday night makeaways that obviously turn into Saturday night and Sunday night makeaways, but I digress. Right, reason why is because I haven't got a lot of special stuff left and I thought if I leave to do this video until tomorrow, which is Sunday, um, I'm going to be doing a bit on it on a, like a half tank. I like to be, you know, appetised and, you know, the basil comes in quite handy. So, right, so what we're doing? So we're doing uh, fried chicken, or some fried chicken, or anything like that. Right, okay, fine. Or anything like that, um, that's what we're doing. Um, now, I'm gonna do it skin on, right? Because I just think it's a bit of a waste to be doing it without the skin, to be honest with you. Um, now, right, let me just turn it up a little bit, hang on. Yeah, so I want to keep the skin on. Now, I know what's going to happen if I do, um, and I also know the reason why they do take the skin off. Is this going to be a decision that I'm going to regret? Well, I'm going to take evasive action on that, and what I'm going to do is I know what's going to happen, right? So what we're doing at the moment, I'm going to marinate the chicken. I'm not going to do it in buttermilk. I'm going to do it in Greek yogurt and some whole milk, right? Bear with us. I know it's a bit of a stretch. Um, smoked paprika, not unusual. Tarragon, okay. And the chicken powder. Um, and... Uh, Kashmiri Miri Chili Fucking Dingy Fever Chili Powder. Right, so I'm doing it fucking for ya. 97 in the gang, I mean, what can I say? Like I said, you're getting this early. Yeah, I was going to do this tomorrow, so you're like ultra fucking lucky. Because you're getting it ahead of schedule. So, that's one of the main things to always take into consideration. Do you know what I'm fucking saying? Um, English mustard. Now, I was going to go Dijon mustard. But then I thought, well, no, because I'm also doing, right, a Michelin star creamy fucking pipeable buttery mash with Dijon mustard in it. I might put a little bit of whole grain in it. I'm not too sure. And for colour greenery i'll put a little bit of parsley in it or fucking something i don't know maybe don't know <coughs> right this is all tonight it's all coming up tonight because i'm going to marinate these i'm just going to do them for about two three hours not that long uh because i want to do it tonight all right i want to get all this done tonight so we're doing some fried chicken or fried chicken whatever the case may be um the mash and we're doing mac and cheese, right? So it's all coming out. It's going to be a big one, right? Now, um, I'm also putting in it onion powder, uh, garlic powder. So I, I've got no chance, right? The shit shop, but like, they've got garlic granules, they've got garlic salt, they've got garlic earwax, they've got garlic foot cream, garlic bum cream. All creams and garlics and fucking modules that you can think of. But of course, has there any garlic powder? No. Is there any onion powder? No. Right, fine. Brilliant. So I bought garlic granules. And what we're going to do, we're just going to whiz them up. Right, we're just going to whiz them up in the whizzer. So I thought, fine. So whatever. I, you know, I'm not commenting on the shit shop. But apparently, hopefully, the shit shop is fucking off next year or at the end of this year because it's been there but when i first moved in my flat it was a summer fields and then a couple of years later turned into shit shop and i was like like expensive shit shop as well that's why it's shit it's expensive fuck all in there shit shop 
Right, uh, garlic granules. I'm just going to whack them all in the whizzer and I'm going to just whiz them until they're powder, basically. That's the plan. Is the whizzer powerful enough to hang on a fucking second? All right, that really is annoying. Right, is the whizzer whizzy enough to be able to do what it's going to do? They will see. They will see. Right, before we whiz that up, because I can do that off camera, but that's basically what I'm going to do. I'm just going to leave it on blitz for ages until it literally goes into a powder itself. It's almost there. The granules are really fine, but it just needs a little bit more. Right, now obviously we know, um, I might keep that one actually. Fuck it, I like that because I'm going to one then. Um, right, as we know, my knife, I'm not going to score this um, chicken thigh uh, skin with this knife. It's not happening. I ain't got a knife sharp enough. So I've gone for bollocks. I've literally cut a big shaving thingy, uh, shave up. Uh, take and run the razor blades and I'm going to do it with that so I'm going to do it one at a time and we're going to see how it goes so this could be quite interesting actually so I'm going to start scoring it um, I'm going to start from the middle there it's very sharp I mean at least it's sharp all I want to do is break, basically score the actual chicken skin itself right and because it's so sharp i've only got to lightly run it across the chicken skin i'm going to do it halfway so that half first and then that half and start from the middle and as we mean to uh, carry on it's actually working and all it is is just a you know the razor blade out of a out of a big shaver so it, it's obviously deadly sharp as fuck, you know what I mean? But yeah, so why am I doing this? Well, the reason why is because I want to keep the skin, all right? Um, I want to keep the skin on with this deep fried chicken because it's got extra fat as well. So, uh, and if I didn't do this, uh, I am going to have to trim it and I... I'm not going to trim it that much because I just don't want to waste. I want a little bit of a skirt on each of these, um, on each of these chicken fries. So we're going to, I'm even going to lightly cut the skirt as well, just very lightly. Um, yeah. So why am I doing that? So it's basically because if I I know what's going to happen, we're going to keep the chicken skin on, we'll dredge them, we're going to do a double dredge, right, it's going to be fucking fucked up, right, we're going to do a double dredge, and if I kept the chicken skin on, yeah, you can dry it out as much as you like, pat it down as much as you like, dredge it out as much as you like, and all that business, but that skin is still one skin, and it's got a membrane on the rest of the body meat, the actual muscle, and it will just contract and shrink, and it will look fucking shit. Now, I've done this in lines, so I've done this like a, um, like a fan pattern, I suppose, right? Now, we could go further and double cross it, and so we like, we got squares. Um, I don't know what to do. I suppose we could do one like that and do one, we'll do two like that and then we'll do two like with squares. So we could do that. So I'm going to cut that excess fat bit off there. I've got a saxophone going on there. So yeah, so like I say, it's a Saturday. I normally wait till Sunday to do this, to be honest with you. Right, so I'm going to start from the middle out again, and then I'm going to do half and half, because it's just, I can work, I've only got this stupid thing to work with, you know, it's not exactly professional, but it's doing the job, so, you know, fucking hell, what can you do? Right, so in the middle, let's go down, yeah, so like I said, I was going to do this on Sunday, um, but I haven't really got much to do today, and I'm going to start cleaning my flat tomorrow, because the flat is 
like a bit of a bit of a, bit of a shit hole really. Uh, so I need to sort that out because obviously the special plan is, is going along quite well. <coughs> There's nothing much I can do at the moment. All I've got to do is a bit of waiting. Um, it's fine, and just carry on my day and just things as normal really. So yeah, it's all going well, and you know there we go. So we're just going to line that, we're just doing it like that, so I'm doing the same again. And don't forget, all the flowers are going to get in there. Um, right, now with these ones, so what we're going to do, we're going to do a cross section of these, and these skirt to cut off. A little bit there, I suppose. Yeah, because we don't want it, right, we don't want to be frying all this shit. Right, you know what I mean, let's cut that off. I want a little bit on there, that's fine, but... I don't want to be going ridiculous. Right, so I'm going to get the middle. I'm going to do the same again. Slightly score it. So that's all we're doing is scoring. Right, I'm just scoring it. And like I said, we'll do. We'll marinate this chicken for I don't know a couple of hours. Because don't forget, um, if I'm off camera, I'm only sitting on my settee getting pissed and like smoking like fat cigarettes and shit like cigarettes um, so you know the longer that the, the more parts there are like the more pissed I am so like I can do it pretty pissed but there is a limit oh talking about limits of being pissed while doing the cooking um, right the fish and chips video yeah I know I do apologize about that right basically what happened was um, I used a quart of the gin bottle um, for the fish batter and I basically drank the rest of the gin and I was so pissed after part three I literally couldn't stand up. I, actually, I, I think I ended up sleeping in the cat basket when my head was in it uh, surrounded in piss co-op uh, crisp, uh, uh, crisp cider, it's only about £3.20 um, with the underpants, I think they were still on. I might have had a sock on or something, and I do, I don't know. I woke up the controllers in my hands, and the coffee, the coffee cup was all spilt on the floor. I was in a right mess. Um, yeah, I was fucked. So, yeah, it it would have. So yeah, I couldn't finish it. it I, and, I, and by then, like, it was game over basically. So that's why I written on the video fail. Do apologise about that. But that is how it goes. So yeah, right. So we're still scoring this. Right now, these ones. So yeah, sorry. I'll do another fish and chips video. I'm going to do it with gin again, but I'm going to just try not to drink it or as much of it. It's, it's always 50/50 on the channel. So it goes. If it's there, I'm going to drink it. So hang on a second. Yes, yeah, so there we go. Right, so we're going to go and cook, go in the other way now. Like we're cutting it, so it's going to go into like squares. Right now we're oh, it is getting quite oh, it's gone quite squarey. Right, okay. Right, that even might even be. We'll, we'll see what the difference is because this is all about a bit of experimentation on this channel. We're not we're doing this quite light, a lot lighter effect. I'm not going as deep. So we will see. What happens with that? So I've got I've got five, haven't I? Oh, shit. Right, I'll do the other I'll do the other one with lines. I'm only, I'm only gonna do two with the squares and we'll do three with the lines. And we'll just see how that goes, really. So yeah, so and uh, I was actually and, and the actual, I was looking forward to the fish video as well actually. Um, and I was so, like, I just thought, well, I just can't continue it because I'm so smashed. Like, I was like proper pissed, like really pissed. So, there we go. Uh, right, we're doing the same again, just cutting the lines through. So, so this razor blade is working an absolute treat. So, this is, like I said, it's just going to help to aerate this skin because all the fat, is going to be able to get in this and all the, like, the flour and all the and all the fat's going to be able to come out of it right so we'll chuck that right we're being health and safety i've just literally just thrown a razor blade in the bin because 
because that's how conscientious a man I am, you know what I mean? Right, let's have a look. Ah, let's have a see. So, I'm going to put the sliced ones there, and there. And these are the dice ones, we'll call them the dice ones. Right, because I want to keep that skin on, right? I really do. I want to just keep that skin on. I know people can't really see it like that, can they? So, let's do it individually. So, there we are. So, you see what I mean? So, we've like, it's all like in squares and that. So, now the flower can get in between all that and keep, and that skin, all them cut up bits of skin, they'll cook like individually. Instead of like being in a whole skin and contracting as one, which I know exactly is what's gonna, like, fucking gonna happen. Do you know what I mean? So, and how do I know that? Well, we all know, right? We all know. Now, I've also heard word on the grapevine, okay? And this has actually come from HQ Michelin themselves. Get ready for this. One of the members has watched 10 seconds of one of my videos. They sent out a courier via balloon ship. Yeah, it's going to be drifting my way. Now, apparently, it was sent a couple of days ago, and there's gusty winds coming up from Central Europe floating in the vicinity of my location in Spain. England is the best in the world, right? So we are being told to look out for a massive penis-shaped balloon heading my way with Michelin on it and saying, and I've got to flag him down basically. Apparently for special Michelin home cookers, they don't send it out via letter, only in desperate circumstances. This. So I've been targeted, so I've been, I've been picked out. They've noticed the star is on its way in the shape of a huge penis balloon chip. Imagine that. So we'll have to look out for it. And I'll let you know what goes on. And I'm sure I'll be informed of the progress of the courier carrying that special letter from Michelin. We're doing it. Right, so let's get it carried on, okay? Now. Okie dokie. Big in a pokey. Okay. Now, um, with this, right, before we do anything, because this is fresh chicken, right? We're going to turn them all upside down. Now everyone's going to be going, what is he doing now? And also bone in. I'm keeping it bone in, right? Right, I'm keeping it bone in, right? Now, um, we're going to season them. That's what we're going to do. That's the first thing we're going to do is season these, yeah? Nice bit of salt. Nice bit of black pepper. Yeah. Pat all that in. You want it seasoned. Don't forget to season this fucking shit. Yeah, we always keep it seasoned on here. A lot of people miss seasoning. They think, oh, it's not really that important. Bloody is. Like, bloody fucking... If I was an actual chef, right, with my own restaurant, and I never caught you seasoning stuff, I would have your guts for garters, mate. Absolutely guts for garters, right? Well seasoned. Nice, like it, okay? Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to do the marinade, right? Now I need the whisker out. I need a spoon. Okie dokie. So, what we're going to do first is we want some, want some yoghurt, alright. Now, I reckon 
that the we're gonna put the, I'm not gonna do the mixture well let's do the mixture first before we start to put the chicken in the mixture all right let's do that first so I can get rid of that okay. right so I'm gonna pour in some yogurt first Four chickens. I think it's going to be the whole thing. Let me just think what we're we doing. Uh, do I need the yogurt again or do I not? I don't really need it again, do I? Right, let's just do the whole fucking yogurt pot. So, yeah, so like I said, um, yeah, this is a little bit of expense for me, okay, to do this video. Um, so, this might be the last video I do for a couple of weeks, okay. Um, because it has actually started, it's actually, I've got them right to the bone on the special plan, right? And I don't want to go any further, right? Okay, so I'm going to work, I get my tips and shit, and I want to be using that money, not my money, so I don't want it going any further, so this might, This actually might be the last video for a couple of weeks. Hang on a second, for fuck's sake. Absolutely amazing, I love it. Right, so, okay, so I've got the yogurt in now, okay. Now I want to just milk it down a little bit. So, we're going to have a little bit of ordinary blue milk. All right, whole milk, all right. Let's take the spoon out of there. Let's use a whisk. Whisk this up. All right, let's get this on. Okay, so, right, let's do it, let's fucking do it and poo it. Right, so I'm going to whack in some tarragon, alright. So this is what the chicken is going to be getting marinated with, alright. So we've got some tarragon in there. Alright, I'm also going for some smoked paprika. Alright, nice couple of teaspoons of that. I mean, a lot of these um, spices uh, will be going into the actual dredge as well. So that's for the dredge. Um, that's not for the dredge, obviously. This is for the actual fucking marinade, isn't it? I'm being a twat, so you know what I'm saying. Right, we've got the Kashmiri chilli powder. Right, I want that to go into the marinade as well. So a small teaspoon of that. Right. We've got the, right, we've got the, the chicken powder, I want that in. One, two, one, two, three, four of that in. Right. So that's quite potent stuff there. Huh? Well, not too potent, it's like a supple potent, it's quite nice. Right, okay. And then about a teaspoon of English mustard, right? Or a teaspoon. That's most of that to so, okay. And that's mainly gonna be for colour. Um, it will give a subtle hint, alright? Also gonna put a little bit of white pepper in now. About two shakes of that, a little bit of uh, sea salt, and a little bit of black pepper as well. Right, so we're going to mix that up, alright? So I'm going to do it literally like a batter. Right, 
Right, now we've got them garlic granules that I done earlier. Right, they are now 100% a fucking powder. Right? As you can see, all the powder garlic. Mm, that smells amazing. Right, so we're going to put... So we're going to put two of them in. Well, one big teaspoon of that in, I reckon. Or let's do a little... It's going to be quite powerful stuff. Yeah, so like I said, we can't get any um, garlic powder. Just use the granules and just whiz them up in the blender or whizzer or whatever you've got. You know, you know, don't like start eating them or like trying to think, oh, if I roast them over an open fire uh, using a petrol can and some an old rubber tire on like a bit of tin foil, it'll do the trick. It won't. You do have to have, like, this is for the toast watchers, obviously. We do have to be specific for them. Um, yeah, don't do that. Like, sort of try and, like, have, like, a property and electricity and shit and, like, some appliances and use that. So, we've done that. That's going to be really potent garlic because it's the granules, so they're quite concentrated, right? If that would have been, like, if I'd have gone bought garlic powder, the good thing with the granules is... Um, it's like anything, like, if, I, if you buy, um, so let's just use black pepper for instance, right? I want to get some ground black pepper, so it's all been ground and whatever. How long has it been ground and it's been sitting in that jar for? The longer it's been sitting in that jar for, the more less potent it becomes. Where if you just buy the whole peppercorns and grind it yourself and then put it in a jar, now we're fucking talking. Same thing with the garlic granules, or even better, get some garlic, cut it all up, and do it like that, right? So, I've actually got, I don't know why I've got garlic out, I've got no need to do that, so I'll put that away. I'll have that for another day. Yeah, that rhymes, doesn't it? Yeah, funny is that. Right, so, I've got my big chopper out as well. I don't need to display my big chopper, otherwise, you know what I mean? Right, let's not ignore that situation. Right, so we've made our basically batter for the chicken, right? Or marinade at the same time. So I'm going to leave that. It's a sort of runny-ish consistency. If people can see that, you know, it's all right. So, uh, yes, there we go. Let's do the spoon comparison. So I'll show you roughly what I'm talking about. Let's have a look. It might need more, actually. I don't know, actually. I ain't got any more, have I? So we use all the things. Let's hope, it, let's hope it's all right. Right, so there we go, that's fine. If you get something like that on your spoon, that's no problem at all, that's fine. So, what we're gonna do now, is we're just gonna chuck the chicken in, right? And that's gonna sit in now for about, I don't know, two, three hours should be fine. Uh, make sure it's all covered up. We'll turn it all over, we'll just give it a nice smooch of the boosh about. Use your hands, get in there, really give it one, right? Um, I mean, you can have it the batter a little bit thicker than this if you want, um, but I want the chicken to um, start to really get tenderised. And I think if it's if it's too thick, it's got less chance of penetrating the meat properly. So you want it slightly runny up, but nothing too many. Because don't forget, it's going to be that the, the dredge or the flour dredge it's going into later uh, will soak up any of that sort of stuff anyway. So it's not a major like, like don't like get yourself too concerned about it basically. Um, okie dokie. Is that plate big enough? Which it isn't. And I'm having a nightmare. And I'm going to have a break. So that's my semi break over with, we just had to uh, go for a timer and all that business. Right, okay, I want to cover this up, okay, I'm going to whack that in the fridge. Um, and like I said, that's going to go away for like, I don't know, uh, basically when I can be bothered to redo the video again really, and, and really start to uh, get it, oh god, I've actually got enough fucking room. I haven't got enough room uh, in my fr oh shit, oh, I might be in trouble here, oh, is that big enough to 
to go in. Oh, I need jars, fucking hell. Right, I've got it in the fridge, and it over. I thought I was a bit bollocks there on fridge space, but it's fine. Right, so like I said, that's gone in the fridge now. Um, yeah, two, three hours. I mean, if you want to do it overnight, go for it. Probably longer the better, to be honest with you. Uh, but like I said, I don't want to be doing this video tomorrow. Um, lots of people, all us uh, food YouTubers upload on a Sunday. Today, I just wanted to be different and upload on a Saturday. Even if it's night time. Even if it's fucking five to midnight, right? It's still fucking Saturday, right? So don't start on that front. Right, uh, yeah, oh, let's put the pissing milk away. I've left that out. Oh, that'll be like rotten in the morning. If I don't like salt, if I don't not leave it. Uh, right, yeah, so, um, right, I'll see you sort of a bit later, right? Um, cheers for watching, cheers for subscribing and all that business, and it's all appreciated. Really appreciate everyone's comments. Uh, streaky bacon, fucking Poleski, for whatever, I can't remember. Uh, yeah, I know, that's why I got the fucking chopper out for the garlic, wasn't it? Because I was going to get the garlic, right, and fucking do shit like that, like a doom. I know, I know, but yeah, I know. I just forgot about the chopper, really. I haven't really got had the chopper out for a long time, to be honest with you. Um, literally. Um, uh, actually, I even forgot I had the chopper. Um, yeah, uh, John Spear, everyone else, Johnny, Kay, um, all the other people that subscribe to the awesomeness. Uh, we're waiting for confirmation from Mitchell and Couriers have been sent out in all sorts of descriptive ways. One's died falling off a cliff through fog. Um, what can I say? Right, I'm going to call that a part one. I'll see you lovely people in part two. And that's going to be a winner winner. Fucking sun fried chicken mash fucking uh, macaroni and cheese. Fucking oh my god dinner. Uh, fucking leave it with you. See you later.